I'm a sales manager working in the domain of sales for the last 10 years and yet there are times where I'm not able to understand why exactly do I not bag an order. I have worked hard, I have worked very closely with a very strong relationship with my client. I have tried to understand whatever he needs but then finally my offer goes in a dustbin someone else's offer comes on the table and I just stand there gaping, not having back the order. Should I not feel bad about it? Hello friends, my name is Sanjay Singh and I'm your sales coach. This gentleman whom I was just talking about, who is frustrated because he is not getting an order. In this video, we want to talk today about there are salespeople who get an order and most of the salespeople who do not get an order is not because of what they do. Many a times it's because the things that they do not do. Because it's, it's a process. So if you do everything, there's no way that you will not get an order. So in this video, let's try and understand what are those things that typically a salesperson misses out on because of which he doesn't figure in the list of winners for an order. The first thing that a salesperson has to be very, very particular about is to understand the risk of the customer. Most of us talk about the need of the customer, we talk about the pain of the customer, but I want to talk about the risk of the customer. No transaction in this world happens unless there is a risk on the table of the customer. Have you worked hard enough to understand the risk of the customer? Because many times you might have understood the need, but how does that need translate into a risk is something which you have not done and that's the small difference because of which you might lose an order. There are occasions where you do not understand the buying cycle of the customer. So let's assume that the buying cycle of the customer takes three months to process an order. And in your aggressiveness, you're trying to prepone those three months into a two weeks, three weeks, trying to push the order, you sound pushy, the customer throws you out of his room, the customer stops picking up your call. What is the mistake you have done? Or rather, what is the good thing that you have not done? You have not done the process of trying to understand the buying cycle of the customer. The third thing that you, you have not done if you don't get orders regularly is you have not understood the power centers at the client's end. So maybe you're talking to the production head and the production head is fully convinced, but then the internal politics at the client's end doesn't allow the production head to take a decision unless the finance head agrees, nothing is going to move in this particular organization. So you understand the importance of understanding the power center at the client's end. If you do not understand this, only this can become a strong reason for you not to be getting regular orders. The last point which is very important for you to understand what is it that you have not done. And this is very interesting. A sales professional has to disassociate himself or herself from the order. As long as your karmas of sales are related to an order, everything that you do in the sales transaction is because of the order, then somewhere your sales karmas will fail you. You have to disassociate yourself from the order. You have to focus on your karmas. You have to continue doing all the good thing that you must do for this order and the order will come and it has to come. I know it's not simple, but try disassociating yourself from the order. Don't do anything just because you want to back this order, but do everything because this transaction needs it. You will understand this concept of equanimity in sales. These are the five things which I thought normally a salesperson does not do. I end this video again by saying that most salespeople lose orders not because of what they do, but because of what they don't do. If you like this video, go down, click on the subscribe channel, click on the bell icon because I'm going to come with a video every week, every day on sales for you. 
and I'm on a mission to empower 1 million salespersons with the science of selling before 2025 till we meet again on one such similar video on sales. It's bye bye. Consult for sales Take your business to a new level. Consult for sales.com.